Hello friends, this video on matter and surroundings part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So as I told, particles have space between them. This is, this is my water molecule and this is my solid molecule. And you will study in the higher classes that the arrangement based on these arrangements it also determines the physical and chemical property of a given substance. There are different types of arrangements. Right, SCP, BCC. Anyway, you will study all these things in the higher classes. Just understand that the water itself, what you see, actually is made of tons and tons of molecules. And these molecules have space between them. Right? And in this space, salt molecule or sugar molecule can actually accommodate. But please note here, for example, you took 200 ml of water. Or 250 ml of water. It's a good one. In this 250 ml of water, if you add, let's suppose, three spoons of salt, it can accommodate it. But instead of three spoons, let's suppose if you to add 100 spoons. So if you add 100 spoons of salt, do you think it will accommodate? No, because there is limited space. There is limited space for incoming salt or sugar. After that, the water level will increase. That is something also you can try in the beaker. You take some water and add some salt. You will see that for certain number of spoons of salt, the water level will not increase. But after that, the water level will increase. That is because they have limited space between them. It is not that in 100 milliliter of water, you can add 10 kg of salt. That is not possible right? because the space is limited. Now we know that matter is made of particles, correct? Because each matter actually you take water, you can break into this particle. If you take salt also, salt also if you see, you can break into this red particles, right? And uh, you take anything. You take, uh, let's suppose, uh, apple. Apple also you can actually break into various particles. If this is an apple, Right? So you can actually bring this apple into small small particles. Okay. So we will study about those things, the high classes, how they interact. Just understand that they are made of particles. We will also understand the size of particles. How big is the particle? Right? So are they very small? Are they very big? For example, the question is, can one apple, can we break into four parts? Or can we break into 40 part? I mean, the particle, one particle size will be how much? Or can we break into 40,000 or 40 lakh? You don't know, right? So let's study how big or small the particle is. So let's take one example. Here. So here we'll take uh, a glass of water. In this we'll add some dye. So let's take uh, one liter. This is one liter of water. In this, let's add few drop of dye. The moment you add dye, the color will change. So you can take anything. You can take haldi, the turmeric. You can take kmno 4 You can take any blue colored dye, which is used in the home. So you can take any, any coloring agent which should actually color the whole thing. Now if you see, so let's suppose you add five drops. So five drops actually colored the whole one liter. Okay. Instead of one liter, even if you take 1000 liter, you will see it will color, but it will color in little fade way, but the whole water will be colored equally. So if you take water from here or water from here, it will have same color. Now what we do is let's take uh, 10, this is 100 ml, right? 1 liter. Take 100 ml out of this and take one more 1 liter, plain water and mix it. So 100 ml of this plus 900 ml of pure water, this uncolored water. So if you mix, you will see it is lighter colored, but still all these part is same. If you take water from here, water from here, it will be all 
same color. You keep doing the same thing here. From here you take some, let's suppose 100 ml. Plus again you add 900 ml of pure water. You'll get a little lighter. Do the same thing again. From here you add, take 100 ml. Add 900 ml. Correct? Then you again keep doing this. So if you see here, you get lighter, but actually this is what you'll get if you add almost one, two, three, almost a uh, I mean, huge liter, almost uh, 4,000 liter, I think, yeah. Because it's one by 10, this has become 10 liter, 100, 1,000, 10,000, yeah, 10,000 10, liter of water, if you add these five drops of uh, dye, you'll get this color. That means 10,000 liter, the five drops which you've added is evenly distributed. Correct. That means we are talking about the size is really, really small number because if I have this much big space and this I add only one drop, right? This one drop which I've added is actually not in one place. It is evenly distributed. That means this one drop itself can actually be broken into 1 million or something in that million level. See, this 5 drops particle actually helped us to color such a huge amount of water. Right? So if you have a huge amount of water, you can actually uh, skip this and Let's suppose you have, or what you can do is you can take some um, bucket of water, one big bucket of water and just add one drop. And then also you'll see the whole bucket will be colored, right? So one drop can actually color such a big number, huge amount of water. That means this one drop actually can further be broken into millions of particles because if this is colored, that means these particles are here, 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 right? See, if it, for example, in one, see, do one thing. Take two bucket of water. In one bucket of water, same size, let's suppose a big bucket of water with uh, 30 liter of water. In one bucket of water, add one cricket ball. And in this, one dye drop. So you'll see that one cricket ball will be at only one place. If you take water from here, water from here, I mean, there's a difference. You may get cricket ball, you may not get cricket ball, right? But if you add one die drop, one die drop will be evenly distributed across the whole bucket. If you stir it, you need to stir it or you have to wait for some time. So that means one drop of water is actually millions and millions of particles. Okay. So this process proved that there are millions of tiny particles in one drop of dye. Okay. You can actually do the same activity with uh, uh, Dettol. With Dettol you have to smell. So take big bucket of water in that you put, even if you put few drops of Dettol, you'll see the smell in the whole bucket. Okay. Or you can use any uh, uh, squash like rasna or something, glucon D. That also will, will give color if you don't have any coloring agent. So the point I'm trying to prove here is this any particle is made of any thing we see actually, even a drop what we see, this one drop we see actually is nothing but internally millions of particles. So you wanted to have a mental map of the particle, right? So you can assume that one drop of water has millions of particles, right? One drop has one million is 10 lakhs, huge number of particles, okay? That means the particles are really, really, really small. Okay? So that is something we know. Now we know that anything that has mass is matter and this matter is made up of particles. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, 
find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.